Hello everyone, uh, I'm Sumit Agrawal. I'm a software developer here at Archie.ai and today I will be giving you a tutorial on building a recommendation model using a machine learning technique called Chaos and it will show you how you can replicate the same recommendation model without writing a single code of line in Excel. So what is a recommendation model? Recommend recommendation model, uh, you must have used uh, I have bought products from Amazon or have watched movies on Netflix. Uh, what they basically do is they analyze what kind of movies you're watching or what kind of products you're buying. And depending upon on your interest, they recommend you similar objects or similar movies of your interest. This is an overall and a technique of recommendation model. And we are using Keras. Keras is a deep learning API which sits on top of TensorFlow and Theon. It basically gives you a higher com computational uh, capability to your machine where you can run more complex algorithms and do better analysis of your model. Uh, why I'm using Excel is many people who are new to machine learning or are very uh, are very they know very few few uh, things about coding can still uh, can build their machine learning model excel provides a platform where you can just take a bunch of your data and do some analysis and and it will convert it to a machine learning model this is this this will show you how how you can use excel to even analyze a simple model okay so let's start with the tutorial. I will be using a library of Python 2.3 and if it's not installed on your computer, you can download it from Anaconda. And along with that, you will be needing a Keras library, which, will, which is the deep learning library and a Microsoft Excel sheet. Uh, I will be using a database called uh, Movie Lens, and you, you can find it out on Google. Just type Movie Lens and just uh, click on the link. And this Movie Lens is a data set of about uh, it's a rating data. It's a database where twenty seven thousand movies are being rated by around one lakh thirty eight thousand users. So it's a very good clean data set which we can use for uh, modeling our data, modeling our machine learning. There are two data set which we can download. One is the large data set uh, which has all the 27,000 movies and one like 38,000 users uh, or else we can download the small data set which I will be using for, for this tutorial. So just click on this file and it will download it. Once you have downloaded it, you can just open it and you can see there are a couple of csv files so this is the movie.csv file which will which shows the movie id the, the movie name and the genres of the movie the other csv file which we'll be using is the ratings.csv which has the user id the movie id and the ratings which the user has given to that particular movie so let's do with some initial installation let's start with some in initial installation of libraries so here i have installed the theon library which will be running on kiros and then i have loaded the database i can uh, this is a small visualization of how the database looks if you want to see in uh, jupyter notebook so this is how uh, the ratings or csv file looks there's the user id the movie id and the ratings and there are about more than one one like ratings or more, more than one like rate ra ratings which are given in this sample data set and here uh, i have i have creating i'm taking the top here uh, i'm taking the top 15 movies and the top 15 users so this top 15 users are based on the number of movies they have watched and this top 15 movies are based on how many users have watched that movie 
So this is basically uh, normally by creating a dictionary and then sorting it and taking the top 15 values for the top users and the top movies. And here I have combined them to have a be better visualization of how the data looks. Now what I will do is I will take this data and copy this on the excel sheet where I will do a simple I will, where I will build a simple recommendation model where uh, so that I can when when I come back to Keras I can tell you what a single line of code means so I what I did I copied this table to my excel sheet as you can see here the users is there there are 15 users with the user IDs and there are at this row you can see the movie IDs which are 15 number and you can see all the ratings which are given by the user to that particular movies so to build this uh, recommendation model we, we can't just simply use this table we we need to know more insights about what kind of movie it is or what kind of user it is so i introduced a technique called embedding embedding is a technique where you give randomized weight and try to find features from that uh, element so i have given i have introduced five uh, embeddings for each movie and five embeddings for each user so you can see here these are the embeddings which i have given for each movies and here is the embeddings which i have given to each user you can these are all random values you can just simply type equal to rand and it, can, it will generate a random uh, number from between 0 to 1 and you can just copy it and everything will be randomized. So, so what it means is for this particular movie you can say as what kind of feature is there in the movie like the movie is about a, it is a horror movie or a comedy movie. So if, if the movie is more, uh, is more related to comedy, the, one of the parameters will, will be of higher weights. So this is basically giving f extracting features from each of the movies. And similarly, we want to know what kind of user he is. Like he, wants to, he, he likes to watch more of an action movie or he likes to watch more of a comedy movie. So each of this embedding represents a particular feature of the user. And according to the user's personality, this values will be assigned to the embedding. And <clears throat> So this is all random, randomly generated for initial analysis. Uh, I, I will show you uh, in a better format how you can analyze it. So here is the same table but an, in a better representation. Uh, you can see here are the 15 users with their 50, 5 embedding in each user. These are the 15 movies. And these are the embeddings for each movies. And this is this, the original table of where the users are there and the movies are there and the ratings which are given by the user to that particular movie. Now what I did is <coughs> I basically took this user and I checked the embedding for that user in here and I just copied this embedding here. For this movie ID same I did I took the movie ID 4111 417 I checked it here I copied this at this particular location so in every row has a particular user embedding and movie embedding and I did it this similarly for all the rows <clears throat> after this what we need to do is to predict what what will be the rating given for this particular feature movie for this particular uh, by by this particular feature uh, user so for prediction i use a technique called sum product sum product is basically taking each cell and multiplying it with uh, this the cell and uh, having a sum of it so i just multiplied point, uh, 0.19 in, in points to 0.75 added with 0.63 into 0.47 and i got the predicted ratings for that user for that movie and you can see that there is a difference between the actual rating and the predicted rating 
this 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 means that obviously our model is not 100% accurate and we want to make it more efficient so for that we will calculate the error for calculating the error i basically took the absolute difference between the predicted ratings and the actual ratings so here i just subtracted 1.15 to 2 and i got the error and i took the square of that error I did sim this similarly for the all the other rows and at the end I finally calculated the, the root mean square error which is the overall error for this particular model. Now what you will be thinking what we can do next with it, how we can apply the machine learning technique in it. So Excel provides a very good te uh, technique called solver where we can apply a gradient descent which will which will minimize the error and make a mo model more accurate so to have that solver you can just go if you, you can just go to files you can go to options in there you will see add-ins add in the add-ins section you will see manage excel uh, add-ins and go there there will be a bunch of uh, add-ins available just select the solver add-ins and click ok this will enable the solver in your data column where you can go and click on it. So this the solver box opens and where you can. So this is the box which will do the machine learning for, for your Excel sheet. So here you can you have to define which cell you want to minimize or maximize or what kind of operation you want to do. So I have selected the RMSC cell. I want to minimize it. I want to minimize the error. And how will I minimize it? By changing a particular cell. So I have selected this cells, which is the, the embedded weights which I have randomly an, uh, assigned. So, and here you can see which type method you want to do for solving. There is the uh, simplex LP or this is evolutionary or the gradient nonlinear. So I'll be using the gradient gradient nonlinear non because it is more suitable for this kind of data. And I will start the solver. Okay. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. Just a second. There is some issues with this. Okay. Yeah. So once you start the solver, it will reduce the RMSC and it will give you an uh, efficient model by updating this embedding weighting uh, values. So this is how you can just by simply create a small recommendation model without writing a single line of code. And I will show you how you can replicate this in a chaos and I will relate how, how easy it is just to have a machine learning model by this small data set. So let's go back to the Python notebook and here you can see that I'm I'm since I'm using chaos which gives me more computational power I will be using uh, 50 m 50 embedding for each user and for each movies uh, as compared to the excel where I used 5 this gives because this is because of the computational power which chaos gives me so I I initialize the embedding and then I introduce the embedding to each user and the each movie and here is a small code of chaos which you can just copy and paste it and, and your model is ready. This, this is how it works. So you can see this is the, this is the embedding of users and the movie which I'm doing, a method, I'm applying a method called concat which is the same as some product which I did in the Excel sheet of calculating the prediction. So same 
mode and then I'm uh, adding a technique called flatten. Flatten is basically when you do a sum product on, on the embedding, it creates a matrix, multi-dimensional matrix and flatten just converts that multi-dimensional matrix into a single matrix, single dimension matrix. Then I apply a dropout technique which is basically to uh, avoid overfitting of, of your data. So it's it's a very simple technique of uh, to prevent any over, over, overfitting. And then finally, I do Adam, which is similar as this gradient descent. It is a little more optimized uh, for, for having more accurate results. And the same loss I'm using is the root mean square error. Once I've set up this model, the machine learning model, I can just fit my model with the user ID and the movie ID and it will take some time. You can see it is taking some time to fit the model and creating a more accurate model by reducing the error and having the most optimized weight for your embedding vectors which is the user embedding and the movie embedding. Once the model is, 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 is fitted, we, the model is ready and you can just start predicting the ratings uh, with this model. In this, you just type uh, the model dot predict and given the user ID and the movie for which you want to do the prediction. And uh, I can you can see here, so I have taken the top 10 prediction and the top 10 actual values from the rating.csv. So you can see how how accurate our model is for the for the first movie ID you can see there is a rating 2.99 which was generated by the model and the actual rating was 3 so you can see how accurate it is uh, using Keras and similarly we can use create a similar model in Excel without writing a single uh, code of line so the, the difference between Excel using Excel and, and uh, machine learning libraries are that in, X, in Excel you, there is a particular limitation on uh, which you have to be careful of. There is the amount of data which you can analyze and the, there are particular features which only you can use. So if you want if you want to start the initial analysis of your data on a small data set you can start with Excel where you have initial analysis of your model and then you can move on to the machine learning libraries where you can upscale your data and computational power and get a better and much higher accuracy for your model. So this was about the recommendation model using two techniques one the machine learning library called Keras and the other the Excel and uh, we we have created a recommendation model uh, in in uh, at a company called archie.ai uh, which recommends users to have better prediction about their businesses and give in insights about their uh, traffic and if you want to check out uh, and try out the product you can just sign up at archie.ai and we also have created a couple of tutorial videos and workshops and you can like and subscribe at our YouTube channel. They are all uploaded at that YouTube channel. And please do follow us on Instagram of archie.ai. Thank you for watching. See you later. Thank you.